This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to give you some tips on how to install memory into a Dell Precision T7610 workstation. So if you're like a lot of people and you, you know, you inherited a T7610 or you just have one that only has like 4 to 8 gig of RAM, um, you definitely want to upgrade that memory. And this, this video is going to show you how to do that. Um, so what kind of RAM does the T7610 support? It supports DDR3 RAM, uh, typically ECC registered modules. So for example, like 10600R, 12800R, 14900R modules, depending on your processor. Um, if you're upgrading RAM and you want to you know, piggyback off the existing model uh, or modules, you can go to Dell.com, go to the support page, and go to your original system configuration. It'll tell you what you have in there. And then you can, depending on how many processors you have, order more of that same part number and just install them and upgrade. So if you need uh, part numbers because you're going to just rip out all the memory, let's say you have like four two gig modules and you want to go with larger modules, um, check out our site, uh, greenpcgamers.com, and we'll bring you there. Go to the blog, just type in T7610 because that's the system you have. Click on the post. Um, you can go down to where it says how much memory should I get. We list all the popular part numbers. Now we typically list like the 14900R because we customize systems for gaming. So, but these uh, these are all awesome part numbers for you to use. Um, there's also other awesome upgrade ideas on here, and it's completely free content. You know, if you want to upgrade processors, graphics cards, all that good stuff, plus a bunch of other good videos. So definitely check that out if you need uh, if you need a good free resource. Okay, so we'll continue on. Um, and one other thing, and and as we get started here, we'll we'll show our four four gig modules that we're going to install. You can see the manufacturer code on there if you want to look at those. If you're not completely comfortable installing these modules, um, you know, call a friend over that is, um, you know, buy him a beer and have him help you. Um, so we'll pull the side panel off. Uh, as you can see that we have a 1080 installed. We got two processors installed. So, all right, we're gonna pause here because this is very important. There are two banks uh, for memory um, and one bank is for CPU one, one bank is for CPU two. If you only have one processor installed, you can only use the bank for CPU one, okay? So don't buy, you know, 16 modules if you only have one processor. Um, you only have, I believe, eight slots that you can actually install memory into. So first you have to pull off the memory shards. There's two little blue clips, pull those off. We can see we have DIMMs, uh, we have slots for DIMMs, or CPUs one and two, the right side of CPU one. So if you only have if you only have uh, one processor, you can only use those slots. So first module goes in. Now we've already lined up the notch in the middle of the module. So we know, um, you know, how it's supposed to go. So basically you put that module in place and click each side in. If, if one side clicks in and the other side does not click in, that means you have to flip it around. That means the notch is not lined up. So we're gonna do CPU one slot one cpu two slot one and then we'll put our memory shard right back on if you have more memory you'll just go incrementally up and uh, we typically don't like to mix capacity sizes so if we do four gig modules like in this case we're doing all matching four gig modules we do match the manufacturer codes all right so this is dim two cpu two because again we do have pr two processors installed Line it up, click on one side, click the other side. And the last thing for CPU one, I believe this will be dim one. Click one side, click the other side. All right, so you've got the hardware installed now. Um, you know, remember to put your memory shroud back on, click it back into place, put your side panel on. And that memory should be installed. So if you get like a beep code, that means you most likely have the wrong memory installed. So if it starts beeping and you don't get video, um, that's your issue. Um, in our case, we did not get the beep issue. So we're gonna go into the F2 setup. So we just hit F2 in post. 
actually go to system information. And as you can see, Guaran BIOS A17. So if your system says some different things, you may have an old version of the BIOS. So it may not match this, but we have A17, which is the latest version per today's date, 2018. All right, so we see, um, we see we've got DIM1, CPU1, 4 gig, DIM2, CPU1, 4 gig, and then DIM1, CPU2, 4 gig, DIM2, CPU2, 4 gig. Like I said, if you have more modules that are matching, just incrementally install them up, you know, and, and then in and DIM3, DIM4, DIM5, and then you have to match them on CPU2. So um, pretty, pretty simple process for, you know, installing memory so you don't get any um, configuration errors. So that's what it looks like inside the F2 setup. Um, one other thing um, for Windows to recognize this amount of RAM, um, you do have to have a 64-bit OS. I cannot imagine that you don't have a 64-bit OS already installed on a system that's this new, um, but just something to keep in mind. Make sure you have a 64-bit OS. So that's all I got for you. Um, if you need additional content, go ahead and, and check out GrandPCGamers.com. I already brought you there earlier in this video. There's a ton of content. Subscribe to the YouTube page if you like what you're seeing. Uh, definitely follow Green PC Gamers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, occasionally, uh, we have extra parts from doing these how-to videos like graphics cards, NVMe cards, um, hats, other cool things. Um, so follow us, and that's how you qualify for those giveaways. And if you have live hardware questions, feel free to follow me on Twitch. Uh, you can see my handle right there. Um, and then you can see when I go live to ask live hardware questions. Thanks a lot for watching.